A helicopter carrying the most important American official to make the journey hovers over the scene of the world's worst nuclear accident. US Vice President Al Gore flew over Chernobyl before being brought in as close as safely possible to the reactor which exploded in 1986 and spewed radiation across a large swathe of Europe. Gore was introduced to officials from the plant, which the Ukraine hopes to close down completely by the year 2000. But they cannot afford the $2.5 billion needed to fund essential repairs on the cracking concrete sarcophagus encasing the reactor. Gore has already held talks with the Ukrainian government about how they can get the necessary money. In the nearby town of Pripyat, the true cost of the accident was apparent. Gore called it a hulking symbol of human decisions unworthy of our children. It had once been home to 55,000 people. He used to live here. He lived here at the time of the accident. Did they tell you that? Twelve years after Chernobyl's reactor number four exploded, Pripyat's fairground lies still unused. It had been due to open just days after the explosion. Gore has put environmental issues high on his agenda. Leaving Chernobyl, he had a stark reminder of just what damage man can do when things go wrong. Arriving in Moscow, it was time for the vice president to continue to build bridges for the future. Our two great nations, our two great peoples, ought to be looking to the future. This is a time of important opportunity. It was a sentiment echoed by Russian Prime Minister Sergei Kiryenko, who said he looked forward to the new millennium. Thank you all very much. With nuclear weapons treaty ratification and the crisis in the Russian economy on the table, Gore looks set for some tough talking.